Hey there, guys. Happy Monday. Um, hope you guys had a good weekend. Mine was, mine was good. Um, I am doing a faux stone, just kind of a general, I guess you would say. I don't even know if it's stone. I don't, I'm not real sure. <laughs> Um, it's pretty. It comes out really nice. Um, I'll probably call it some kind of faux stone, but it's an alcohol ink and I'm going to use, um, some copper flakes, copper metal flakes, um, in it. Um, and it's kind of a Makumagani, but not really. So I'll just show you. Um, I'm doing alcohol inks. This is sky blue. And then I'm also going to do chestnut brown. So these are Primo translucent and they are rolled out on a two. So they're a little bit thick. And I'm going to paint one of them blue and one of them brown. And so I just have a big brush. I don't like to just drip them right on directly onto the clay. Um, because two things happen. Each dot will be really dark and then when you spread it around that'll be lighter um, because it immediately the clay will immediately start sucking in the the color so you'll just have like dots wherever you put it and also it's just a puddle and it takes way too long to dry so I have a thicker brush here and I'm just going to brush this on like so okay and i'm just gonna do a little quick wipe in between colors get the blue out and then the brown Still a little blue on there, but that's okay. So just swipe this on. So that you have a nice good layer on there. Put these over here. Get that off. And then you're going to let them dry. Um, it doesn't take too long since we just swiped them on there, so it should be okay. Um, I wanted to thank everybody. I have, uh, I noticed that I have over 1,500 subscribers now, so I do appreciate that. I think I'm going to do some sort of giveaway for you guys. Um, but I'll let you know on Thursday's video what that's going to be because I want to reward you for being so nice to me. So I'm going to take these copper flakes and on the brown, I'm just going to take, just scoop a little bit up with my brush here and then just kind of place them around and kind of dot them on the, your, uh, Alcohol ink doesn't have to be completely dry to do this. You can just do it before it's dry and that's fine. You want to space it out a little better than that though. <laughs> so just pick up some flakes and kind of paint them on. Randomly. Ugh, I want to get a little piece 
a little more than that. Right there, there we go. And in that other corner. There. There. Okay, that's good. So now we're gonna make sure it's pretty much dry. Still a little bit damp, that's okay. Usually the edges. So that's pretty good though. Um, now I'm gonna take, I just have a rectangle cutter and I'm gonna cut three blue and three brown out of these. I'm gonna put it on here first. And I did it so that the brown was on the bottom. So I'll do brown first. And then blue. So now we're just going to layer these. I have a brown, and then I'll do blue. And then brown, or brown and copper actually. And then blue. And brown and copper. And blue. I'm just gonna wipe this up a little bit. And then I'm going to take this little slab and I'm going to roll it out a little bit. Rolled out, cut it in half, and then turn it and place it on there. Roll it out. And one more time, cut it in place. On top so that your stack looks like this if you can see and then I'm gonna roll it out just a little bit but then I'm gonna smoosh it all up into a cube and then use Push it all together to get a little cube here. Ah. Okay. So once you have your little cube, like so, you're gonna turn it on its side so those lines are on the top. 
like that. And then I'm going to take my wavy blade <clears throat> and I'm going to slice straight down into the stripes like so. Just like that. Like so. And then I'm going to take these, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to roll them on a four the same direction that the stripes are going. You can do the opposite direction too if you want to go against the grain, kind of. So you're going to have a pattern that looks like this, if you can see how that looks. This one's a little better. You can see the pattern. So roll all these out. On a three, and then I'm gonna do it again on a four, going the opposite way, so that they're really thin. Like that. So you've got the blue and the brown and the copper. And I'm going to have a lot left over. I could have made a bigger base, but I didn't because I just don't normally. Um, but this is, I'm going to put them on another piece of translucent. Um, this is rolled out onto a two and I'm just going to take some pieces that I think look interesting. Um, I like that piece. So I'll put that on there. You can tear them, um, but it tends to um, distort the image. So I like cutting them better. So I'm going to go like this, and you can overlap um, because I am going to roll this out also. So I'm going to do a little of this, and I think that's good. And now I'm going to take this whole thing and roll it out again onto a two. So this is how your sheet is going to look. You can see that. And now I'm just going to cut out my shapes. And let's see what do I want to do. Um, I do want to make some little squares. So take some of that and some of that. There's a lot of copper in that one. That's pretty. And then maybe I'll do um Oh, me. I'll do a heart. <laughs> because why not? And I'll do a little circle pendant too. I've been liking doing those. Little circle pendant. And a couple of circles also. One of these is going to have a bunch of copper in it. I'll make it a little, not so much. And I think that is good for now. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and fix these up. And then bake them. And figure out what I'm going to do next with them. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'll probably have them resin and everything also when I bring them out. But this is what they look like. So, I'll go ahead and bake these and fix these up, and I will be back to show you. See you soon. Hey there, I'm back. Um, so, I went ahead and resined these. These I made earrings. And this is how they look when they come out. I just love the little striations of the brown and the copper and the blue in there. Hopefully you can see. Um... I think I'll make pendants with these but this is how they look when they come out and it's super easy um, so give it a try um, don't forget about happy place studio polymer clay group on Facebook go ahead and join that and put your content on there and your links to your websites and sales and all that stuff um, also Subscribe to this channel if you like my content. And Trey's Clay Spray, you can get on my site, which is treysclay.com, and Trey is T-R-E-Y. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment, and I will see you on Thursday. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.